I just didn't see myself paying a thousand plus dollars for a set of luggages that's going to get dinged and dented and bruised and stained after the first couple of uses, which is why I say dupe me. And your captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. Feel free to move around the cabin. Hello, hello, I'm Sparkle, your single solo traveling sister here sharing my tips and adventures to help inspire your next trip. I'm always looking for ways to improve my packing and level up my luggages. This past year, I've done a ton of traveling and each time it's time to start packing, I have an impulsive need to buy a new bag, whether it's a suitcase, luggage, carry-on, or tote. Towards the end of the summer, I started to realize that I just collected a Mitch Match hodgepodge of suitcases and none of which I absolutely loved. I wanted a more uniform look, so I started shopping online and doing a little online research. I quickly realized that almost everybody was promoting the same brands and trendy luggages. Bays, Monos, Away. I just didn't see myself paying a thousand plus dollars for a set of luggages that's going to get dinged, dented, bruised, and stained after the first couple of uses. I wanted to make sure I absolutely love my purchase before I paid that ticket price. That's why I did a deep dive into some dupes. Today I want to show you four amazing travel bag dupes of some of the most popular brands. Now some people may say, why a dupe? Why not just go ahead and support the brand that you love? And that's a great Great question. For me, a thousand dollars for a set of luggages for a full set is a bit of an investment. So I would like to feel confident in my purchase. After doing my research on some of the brands that I was considering, they did not have a very lenient return policy, meaning if you've already used the item, you probably wouldn't be able to return it unless it malfunctioned in some way. So how do you know you love it unless you use it a time or two? I didn't wanna pay that ticket price and then find out after a use or two that I didn't absolutely love it. So for me, starting out with a dupe to decide if I like the style, if I like the design, if those features are something that I absolutely cannot live without is a great way to do a stair step into the higher end. Today is not going to be an unboxing because I've already opened these items, but it's not quite a review either. I just want to go over the specs, the prices, the highlight features, and what specifically drew me to this item as a dupe. Let's start with our first bag. This purchase I have been using nonstop. Anytime I'm at the airport, you can almost guarantee I have this bag on me or with me it is my belt bag. I'm sure you know right away that it is a dupe of the Lululemon Everywhere bag. It's very recognizable because it's an everywhere bag. You see them everywhere and everybody has one. Now, I bought this bag at the beginning of the year and it replaced another fanny pack slash belt bag that I use at the airport. I love this one as an upgrade because it's slimmer, it's smaller, but it's still large enough to fit everything you need. So it does have two compartments. It has the main compartment, which has multiple mesh pockets inside. So two smaller mesh pockets towards the front and a larger mesh pocket in the back, and then you have the full center area, basically exactly like the Lululemon bag, and then it has a smaller zip in the back. This bag is simple, it's straightforward, it's discreet, it's no logos. I purchased this from Costco at the beginning of the year for, I think it was nine bucks. Now, unfortunately, Costco is one of those retailers that does not keep things in stock for a very long time. If you see something, you have to kind of snatch it up. So there probably will not be any links. But since I purchased this bag, I have seen dupes literally everywhere. Everyone has a dupe of this bag. I've seen it on Shein, on Timu, on Amazon, in Target, in Walmart. So these, this bag is not hard to find. The everywhere dupe. Some of the websites literally call it an everywhere bag. For the Lululemon version, it is $38. If you're not a big fan of Lululemon, but you like the functionality of this bag, I definitely recommend a dupe. And then if you absolutely love it, you can always upgrade to a Lululemon Everywhere bag. Now, if Lululemon is the OG 
the senior classmen, then this next item is going to be considered more of a new kid on the block. This next bag has been making its round in the travel community again for the functionality. People who travel regularly want something that's functional, that's durable, not necessarily something that's super flashy, but something of high quality. And that is what this next bag brings you. I'm sure everyone has seen a review of the Dagny Dover Landon Neoprene Carry-All Bag. This bag retails at $218. And it's one of those if you know, you know brands. It's, you wouldn't know that this bag costs $215 by just looking at it because it's a basic black neoprene bag. But this is a large size neoprene tote. I want you to see how large it actually is. It has a laptop sleeve, pockets for water bottles, a zip, a shoulder strap. It comes with a key, a keychain with a pocket and a shoe bag. I lost the shoe bag, I'm not sure where it is. It could be anywhere. Exterior pockets. This flap can be buckled down. And it has the same thick zipper. It has a pocket in the front and also a trolley strap. It has hand handles. I mentioned before it has a shoulder strap. That camera angle wasn't doing this bag any justice, so I just decided to scan the photo on the tag and give you a side-by-side -side photo comparison. But I misquoted the Dagny Dover, the Dagny Dover neoprene tote that is this size, 20 by 11 by 11. It's actually $245. And this dupe at Aldi, almost an exact replica, $19.99 you get all of the same features with even a few extra bells and whistles you get the removable shoe bag the removable pouch the organized interior pockets the key strap um, as well as additional exterior pockets and the trolley pass through so this is definitely a dupe you want to grab i found this dupe at aldi for 19 dollars and 99 cents i recognized it automatically as a dupe because I have seen so many review videos of the Dagny Dover. So I immediately picked this up and once I looked at the features, I knew it was a dupe. So for $19.99, this is a thick, durable quality. It has all the features you need, extra pockets. And what I love most about this is the neoprene material. It is something that you don't have to worry about spilling something on. If your water bottle spills over, if you spill coffee, if your hands are full and your coffee happens to topple over, if you get makeup in it, you can throw your shoes in it. It is not a delicate bag at all. I know sometimes when we invest a lot of money in our bags, we don't want to put them on the ground at the airport. When we have to slide them under the seat in front of us, we don't want to shove it under or shove it in the overhead compartment. We're just very delicate with the bags that we've paid higher prices for. With this, it's all about functionality. It's large enough that it can fit everything that you will need to have at arm's reach on the plane, your electronics, your laptop, your phone, your charging bank, your snacks, your water bottle. You don't have to worry about it getting stained. When you get home, you can toss it right in the wash. It doesn't have to be dry clean and let it air dry. So this one I'm sure will get a lot of use, especially for my domestic flights when I don't feel like I need to have so much on the plane with me. And carry on option that is going to give you a little more space, but may not work as a personal item. We can go to the ever so popular Weekender. Now, when I say Weekender, I'm sure you already know what comes to mind, the base Weekender that all of the girlies seem to have at the same time. The Bay's Weekender retails for $108, which isn't unreasonable. Wasn't in a hurry to pay the full price of $108 for the Bay's Weekender. I do absolutely love the look of the Ivory Bay's Weekender, but how chaotic my travel days usually are, I knew I would get it stained within the first use. So I wanted to 
test out my patience on something a little more affordable. So I was excited to see this dupe on Sam's Club website with their signature members mark brand. It has all the same features as the Bay's Weekender. It has the canvas exterior, the same ivory color, the feet at the bottom, the gold hardware, vegan leather, the dimensions are exactly the same, 19 by nine. It has a laptop compartment, multiple organizational pockets, a shoulder strap, multiple external pockets in the front, trolley pass through, as well as that separate shoe compartment that makes it so popular. And last but not least is the item that actually sent me down this rabbit hole to begin with, which is the ever so popular, you cannot type in luggage review without this popping up, the Monos Carry On Pro Plus. This is a $300 carry on luggage that everybody has fallen in love with. Now people say it's worth the price. I, I, I can't confirm or deny that. I just was not prepared to pay $300 for a carry on luggage, but I did like the features based off of the reviews I saw. The features were very alluring. I was elated to find a bag and the color that I desired and the style that I desired with the exact same features for a fraction of the price. The Members Mark Carry On Pro Plus spinner luggage hard shell almost an exact replica to the Mo monos carry on plus obviously not an exact replica but very similar features well actually all the same features with a few additional features the only difference is monos is known for having the seamless color between the zipper and the body of the luggage and this one has black trim but I actually like the black trim because if I'm carrying my black duffel bag, it still matches a little bit. It still pulls the look together. All right, I have to switch up the camera angle to fully show the features of this bag, but the dimensions are 20 by 14 by nine, the same as the Monos. And I'll also drop a Monos unboxing over here to the side, just so you can get a side-by-side -side video comparison. Um, they both have the YKK zipper and TSA approved lock. The front zip pocket, the one, the member's mark front pocket is fully retractable so you can open it to a full 90 degrees. It does fit up to a 16 inch laptop. This MacBook Pro is a 15 inch. It has the multiple organized interior pockets on both sides and it also has a USB charging cable, which is also TSA approved. It has the four height level telescopic handle. On the interior, you have two sides with a zipper compartment separating the side. This bag does come with a laundry bag or dust bag, whatever you wanna use it for. It has a center pocket that is waterproof as well as the compression pocket on the other side. It also has the smooth glide 360 wheels and an additional handle on the bottom that I absolutely love. So you can pick it up from any side. But again, this can be found on Sam's Club's website for $89.99. So less than one third of the price of the Monos. All right, so those are four of the best travel bag dupes based off of the current trends. I will do a full review of my full Maker's Mark luggage set because I am excited to really put it to use and see how durable it is, see if it stands the chaos of travel day domestically and internationally. So I will be posting that video soon if you are curious about that brand. But let me know in the comments if you'll be shopping for any of these dupes or if you're going to pay the full price for the designer brand. If you're enjoying this travel related content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.